Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at another G.I. Joe Classify series for you guys. Now, finally, I finally got one of the other figures that I actually need for my collection. So, if you guys already seen the last video I did, and plus, if you guys remember that I'm missing Tomax to complete the, uh, you know, the Crimson Card Twins. Well, ladies and gentlemen, finally got him. I finally got him. Uh... So today I'm going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series. This one we have here is number 44, Tomax Paluli. Before we continue on, you guys do me a little bit of a quick favor, so I'll be right back. Hey you, stop what you're doing. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and enjoy your day. Alright, so I got this in my local Ross, and of course it was about $6. I was actually trying to find some... Some Transformers that I need for my collection. There is some for the, uh, if you guys remember the Walmart exclusive one, the the normal Legacy series. I was planning to get the other two that I'm missing, but I was like, nah. And plus, I was actually saving money to, to get a gift for my mom because her birthday is coming up on December 5th. So, yeah. So, my dad actually got me this. So, yeah. So, here's what the front of the package is going to look like right here. You can see Tomax uh, artwork right here. Um, unfortunately, same axe is in storage, so I cannot do a comparison of it, so yeah, but of course, it's the same figure, only difference is, is the shoulder pads and the right side now, so yes. You can see the artwork right here, and you can see the, they have the artwork of this right here, if you put it together, and you have the Crimson Twins together side by side, so yes. Uh, the top of the packaging, and we'll say the number 44 right there, but you can see the stickers in the way. Nothing on the bottom. You can see the back of it right here. You can see all the stats right there. I don't know what these are for the stats, but yeah. And the back of the packaging, it's not much of it to say about it. You can see everything, all the characters right there, so yeah. Alright, let me show you guys the, the accessories first, then the figure, and then uh, pretty much that's it. Alright, so, uh... Like his twin brother, uh... Tomax is going to come with the same accessories. Two little... Dagger knives right there, the uh, bendy one right there. I actually don't know what the actual name of this, so yeah. Suppressor right here, pretty nice. The detailed very, very well. I don't know if you guys can see it, probably not, but yeah, nice detailing of it right here. A magazine, and of course, a SMG. SMG stands for, of course, submachine gun, so yeah, it's actually pretty nice. I actually don't know what the uh, this name, the name of this uh, SMG right here, but uh, if you guys are a gun expert, you can leave the comment down below. So, anyways, let's take a look of Tomax. So, here we have Tomax right here, and I'm actually pretty excited to have this in my collection. Now, this is just going to be a quick, easy video because, of course, this is just the same figure. The only difference is, is he doesn't have the scar on the left side of the face, and he had the shoulder pad on the right side. So, yeah. So, here it is, Tomax Panluli right here, the Crimson Twins. Um... The painted is a little bit of detail, looks good. The Crimson Rival they use on the strap right there, even on the belt. With the uh, this shade of blue right there. I think this is like a, a real blue or something, I'm mean, not sure. Well, the hands of this, this this shade of uh, silver they use, like a gray silver, I don't know what it is. Looks uh, absolutely amazing. Now, there is some little bit of uh, quality issues with the paint mess up right here. And a little bit of a, uh, oops, a little bit of pink mess up on the shirt right there. So, yeah. But it's not much of it to say about it. And the reason why I said that this one, Tomax doesn't have the scar on his face. You can see he doesn't have the scar on the left side. So yes, on his face. So yeah. Uh, he does have the Crobo logo right there. I forgot to mention one thing also on his twin brother. So I do kind of apologize for that. Um, I did actually have a bit of a problem with my copy of Tomax. The upper part of the knee right there, when I'm trying to do a, a knee articulation, his part was was so hard to move. So I had to use hot water to move this part. And even so today, when I fixed the problem, it's still kind of hard to do. I may not sure it's the quality. I don't know if it's like all the copy of Tomax or just my copy. But I'm actually worried if there's something wrong with this the inside of it right there. But yeah. Yeah, shit, it's, it's fucking stiff as hell. Um, this part right here on this, there's a peg right there, and you can, yes, you can't remove it, but anyways. Articulation-wise, uh, head can go the full 360, but this part can get in the way. So it can go 
right that far and all the way like that. But since this part is a rubber material, so I guess I got full 360 right there. The head and the neck is on a barbell joint, so so the head and the neck can go down that far, can go up that far, and can pivot side to side. The the arms can go 360 degrees. It does go in and out. Well, it does go up and down like that. Can move side to side. The left, the right arm, by the way, is interfered by the uh, shoulder pad. But of course, the shoulder pad is made of a rubber material, so yes. And make sure you have the peg pegged in right here. So yeah. So it does. Well, somewhat of a full 360, but yeah. Anyways, back to it. Swivel to the bicep right there, full 360. A double bend at the elbow, which is, for some reason, is stiff. Fuck's sakes, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I don't know why the articulation right now is a bit st is kind of stiff. Anyways, swivel the wrist right here. The wrist can go up and down like that. So that pretty much that's it for the arms articulation right there. Does have a ab crunch and an arcing back. Body can move somewhat side to side. For some reason it's fucking stiff and I hate it. Let's can move forward. Not too much backwards because of the ass cheeks. Move the arm out of the way because leg can go in and out. You can shift up and down on the leg. Thighs over right there. And like I said about the knees. For the left side, fucking stiff. So, I'm going to do on the right side. Double bend at the knee right there. Perfectly nice. You have some calf swivel right there. Feet can go up and down like that. Then you can move side to side. And that pretty much does it for articulation. And if anyone was wondering what it's going to look like with the weapons on... Of course, like I did to his twin brother. Plug in the weapon. You can see with the daggers right there. It's actually pretty nice. But for some reason, it's kind of loose. So yeah. But there's some weapon storage on it right here. So you can store the blades away. So we're going to store them away. It's nice and perfect. Snug perfectly well. Get in here, you bitch. I don't know what the hell is going on upstairs. Well, not upstairs in my roof. Damn rats. And yes, I also had some rat problems, but don't worry, I took care of it. Now for the SMG. Let's plug in the magazine in here. And before we do anything with the suppressor, we gotta plug it in with the hand on it. Now I kind of forgot to show one off reviewing same axe so same act same axe so yeah so here it is with the suppressor on and i kind of forgot like i said i kind of forgot showing this part up but you can actually use this part and use the other hand for it so yeah there you go and it's actually uh pretty nice so yeah like I said, the twin, the toe max is actually pretty good, but the knee articulation for the left side on the top part is stiff. I don't know why did the the elbow articulation for the left side is stiff also. So yeah, I might have a back copy of this figure or something, but I'm so happy I got this one in my collection. So yeah, All right, I'm gonna go into the final pose. I'm gonna give you guys my final results. So I'll be right back. This is the final pose. I actually, can I give you? I cannot do any much for the for the legs. So yeah. And plus, I got a good thumbnail for it also. Anyways, I'm actually I'm happy I got Tomax. I finally got the Crimson Twins together. I do actually want to get the 3-pack comes with the Crimson Twins and the Baroness. If you guys don't remember, the 2023 Hascon exclusive one. I think it's an Ask Hascon exclusive one. Um, If you comment down below if it is or not, uh, I'm kind of a bit confused in it right now. Anyways, I'm going to end this right here. So have fun to say for the always. I'm out.